Hello, my marvelous minions! Lord Cracker Squirrel here, and welcome to Squirrel Play Holiday! Where we play a bunch of games, and you guys get to see what we think of them. This is a strict first impression series for the December holiday in 2016, regardless of whether you celebrate it or not, or in what form or fashion. Alright, <clears throat> so, today we have... Space Tyrants! And this is actually a game that is currently in beta, as far as I know. Uh, if you can get into the beta and then find a way to earn yourself a, 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 free, a free key for the full version, then yippee! It's actually a function of their forums there. This is a 4X, a sci-fi 4X game. And I'm not as big on sci-fi 4X as I have been in, as I have been in recent years. I actually worked on a fantasy 4X a while, uh, a, like two, uh, two years ago. Uh, yeah, about two years ago. Uh, which is actually fun because it actually got me my... Uh, I won't get into the details. So, uh, it is currently not available except through the developer, one Blue Wizard... Blue Wizard Digital, and they have their high, they have their holiday build, Move, moving on and moving around. So we're gonna go have a look at it. A fast-paced, a fast-paced rogue like like like, 4x set game set in a in a grimly grimdark future. Right, like you can get more crap sex than grimdark. Okay, if you say so. From the people who designed, produced, drew stuff for, or ate lunch with the people who made Bejeweled, Peggle, and Plants vs. Zombies. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, you want, oh, they also... there are squirrels. What? There are squirrels. There are squirrels? How far you just... <laughs> oh, you're looking at the page. Yeah. Uh... They actually have a, apparently they have a squirreloid race. So, there's some bugs and some stuff. Um, they got a, they got snail versions. Uh, I don't see your squirrels. That's a space shark. It was on the text. It was on the text? Oh, wow. The Berserk Union. Buntastic? Okay. So, um, on the third paragraph. Uh... But found our minds wandering, wandering to nearby squirrels, etc. <laughs> yeah, and nearby squirrels, etc. During a typical session. Okay, out freaking standing. Let's um, let's see what we got. Since they think they're going to catch the catch, they're going to get the attention of uh, or keep the attention of people that don't do that do squirrel that do squirrels. Uh, let's see how the ADHD gamer sorts it out. Click. Blue Wizard De Games. Blue Wizard Digital. Ooh. Ah. Wow, loud. Settings. Turn that down. Turn that on. Everybody can see the frame rate. Because the thing, apply that. Where the, they're supposed to be displaying a frame rate. I'm displaying a frame rate in the upper right hand corner. I'll turn that down some more. And that too. Apply. That's better. I can actually hear my I can actually hear myself think and my think and my eardrums are not bleeding. Well that's good. Uh, so we're gonna pay. Sewing galactic chaos comes to very comes so very easily to the space tyrant. Uh, petty wars. Right, right, right. An astron ambassador bursts in with a list of absurd demands. Out. Oh, that'll be fun. Okay. Okay. Fine. Ow. 
Frigate seem weak, but they are pound for pound the most damaging ship in the game. The Hoplite Dynasty feels the toughest ships in the verse. Never expect to beat them one on one. Okay. Alright. I thought they had a clicky for a tutorial a little while ago. Uh. Click the fleet and then click the destination. Right, right, right. Right, let's go. Come on, let me give it a freaking map. Okay. Mildly defended, this was probably my asteroids. Where's the fleet? There's the fleet. Go there. I said go there. Where's my fleet? My fleet ran away. Oh, right. Invade. Click to invade. Okay, most plans have defense and must be invaded. You roll the invasion die. If you roll higher than the defense, you win. Okay. That sounds fairly simple. I'm gonna use propaganda. Nice! Three extra Ooh. frigates. Moving on. We have to lab planet. Stone hair versus the best. Another it's a pet. And I leveled up. Oh, I can get it, and now I can have up to ten ships. Okay. Ok. 
Okay, then. Apparently, that's going to be... <coughs> that looks like pretty much it's going to be the whole game, with the exception of some busy work as far as uh, buying things and allotting resources and so forth. Yeah. Raising the defenses of the planets you already, you've already pwned. Um, I'm not seeing anything yet that looks like a huge bug. Except, of course, that they're doing the tutorial anyway after we've already, after we've already taken a pass on the tutorial. Mm -hmm. Which I do not, in fact, find entertaining. Because this here says tutorials. They should have let us just do that. It should have just left us to do that. Um, so, I don't know what to tell you. It's a 4X. There's really not much more to it than that. Pretty, pretty basic. Yep. It's strictly formula, which does not help it. Um... You might get a little bit more out of something like the Sorcerer King, uh, where you're gonna where you're gonna have some completely different issues. Uh, but I'm not gonna recommend that either. Not or excuse me, I'm not actually going to say anything really about that game or the company that made it. Uh, it is another example uh, in the genre, and that's all. But. Uh, I can see where this game has a sense of humor, but it's going to take quite a while to draw it out, and frankly, at the moment, I don't feel like spending that kind of time on it. Uh, any comments from you, Kete? Yeah, uh, mock the hell out of me if someone wishes, but I've been played for example, Star Trek, and I'm not ashamed of it. Um, yeah, something basic like 4X that follows the formula. It's basically all the same thing. And yeah, hmm. hashtag move. Well, I do actually have one bug, at least on Windows 10. The game refused to shut down. It actually had to be crashed. So that's not great. When it comes to space battles, I like them epic. Yep, and this really isn't that. <laughs> uh, there is, a, there is a, the sense of humor, but the game is very, very basic. Mm -hmm. I don't, yeah, object to it. The, I don't even necessarily object to it being basic. It's probably not this basic. You do a yeah. little bit more here. If I have to venture into the waters of, uh, of, uh, of making friends to actually play, because all by myself, I have to pay something. And so you have to have friends playing with you to have a uh, a, a, a glorious space battle like in Star Trek. Yeah, really, uh, I'm not impressed. All right, uh, I think that's going to about cover it for uh, Space Tyrant. Uh, I can see where some people would have some fun with this. I'm, pro I'm not at the moment. It's not to say that it's actually technically non-functional. It is. It's actually. It seems to be fairly solid in what it does. It just doesn't seem to do enough, and that bothers me. So, uh, that's going to be it for us for this video. Uh, we have one more on our on our schedule for this year, and uh, be looking forward to that here in a little while. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to say be safe and be sane. Yeah. Make games fun again. Yep. And Happy holidays, again. everyone. Happy holidays. All right. We'll catch you up later.